One day, when a Zen monk, Tanzan, and another young monk were traveling, they happened upon a beautiful young lady unable to cross a deep stream in full flow. Tanzan offered to help and carried her across the stream. He bade farewell to the lady and the monks continued on their journey. After a few days of travel, the younger monk turned to Tanzan and in a very disturbed voice asked, I thought we monks were supposed to avoid women. Why did you pick her up like that? Tanzan replied, What woman? Oh, you mean the woman way back there? I put her down long ago. Are you still carrying her? What does Tanzan mean when he says, Is the young monk still carrying her? The nature of the mind is such, the reason why people are struggling in their lives is, they have not made any effort to understand the nature of their mind. One fundamental aspect of the mind is, what you say as I don't want, that becomes the nature of your mind. That becomes the main content of your mind. If you say, I don't want to think about monkeys, you take a vow, from now on I will not think about monkeys, whole day you will be thinking about monkeys only. If you did not take, take such a vow, probably you will never think about monkeys unless you see them. So, being a monk, being a brahmachari is not a vow that I will not touch a woman. You have taken a certain commitment to achieve something higher in your life, to touch something, another dimension where mundane things will be meaningless to you. But if that has not happened, you are trying to do it as a rigid vow. You think by not touching a woman, you will become a brahmachari or you'll become a monk, that's not it. By aspiring for something higher, you'll become a monk. You're constantly aspiring for something high, so you did not look at what's around you, that's different. But you saying, I will not look at this, will fill your mind with that. So some woman needs some help, he helped her, he left her there and went on. This one did not touch the woman, but now it's going on in his mind for two days. He can't keep her down. So the one who did what is needed, he left the woman there. The one who is trying to avoid the woman is full of that all the time. So this is not about the woman, this is not about something, this is about understanding the nature of your mind. If you say, I don't want something, only that will happen. Because in this mind, there is no subtraction or division. Forcefully, you cannot take out a single thought from your mind. Whatever you try to do, there is only plus one. Addition and multiplication will happen. There is no subtraction and division in your mind. So you cannot forcefully take away a particular thought. It is just that if your aspiration is something else, all these things may evaporate. You want to go to the top of the mountain, you're very focused on that. What is it, the foothills is not your concern. If you're trying to dodge the foothill, how will you go to the peak? You will never go, isn't it? <laughs> if you avoid the foothills, how will you reach the top of the mountain? You will never reach. You are focused on top of the mountain, you will cross the foothill and not even notice it. So he helped the woman, it was not a big issue, probably he didn't even bother with it's a man or a woman. Somebody asked for help, he just helped and went on. But this man who's trying to avoid the woman, his mind is full of that. <laughs> There was a great Zen master whose name was Nan In. One day, a butcher came to him seeking enlightenment. He is indicating, you are a Buddha yourself, you are as much as me. He went on telling everybody, I don't care what's in God's mind. 
I know what's on my mind. You learn to be straight with yourself. And don't try to go anywhere, it will happen because there is nowhere to go.